You're absolutely going to love this. I found where I have to um, get the spell from. We have to go back up. Back to the university. Of course. Ah, no, no! <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to go this way, and each time I just kept clicking that way. Oh, okay. Basically, we go in, we go in, we. Hey. Thank you. In we go. Through here. Amazing. Now, we need our shovel. And, uh, yes. No, that's the left. Here. Yeah. Here? Yeah? No? As you'll notice, the university doesn't exist in our space time. It's in a parallel dimension called the Ethereal Plains of Atri, which we sorcerers share with snack cakes, former child stars, and people who own ferrets. Yay! Alright, well. Hey, free dirt! Just what we always wanted. Free dirt and magic scroll. Candle. Alright. Knowing. Ah, the teleportation station. Fastest way to get around in the underground. Yeah, I know, I know. Wait, there's my magic scroll over. Okay, cool. Let's dematerialize, shall we? GB Tech. Crossroads. Crossroads. Thank you. Alright, put you away. Alright, now that we have that, we can go back downstairs. Whee! We can look at this and get out. Candle. Candle. There we go. That's more like it. Now, unless I'm mistaken, all you have to do is pick the place you want to go to, wait at the edge of the platform, and assume crash position. Oh, okay, well, hey, let's go with flood control down three. Because, you know, that's, uh, it's rather historic. I guess I should warn you. The thing about the underground underground is, um, that there were a few cutbacks, and then a few more. And then, oh. well, they just never got around to installing the brakes! Oh. Oh, I see. So that's why the music's going crazy. Meanwhile, back at the Inquisition. Oh, cutscene. Totemization? Good. Now, if you just be a lamb and sign this confession, it's a formality, really. You willingly agree to be eternally bound and totemized and so forth, blah, blah, blah. You violated the laws and or pointed suggestions of the Inquisition, etc., etc., etc. No problem. Of course. Uh, oh, look, wait, there's a there's a mistake here on line 17C. Be a lamb, just sign in the line. No, no, really, look, here, where it's supposed to say stand in line for three hours and then get totemized, it says pop the inspector one. Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Oh! oh. <clears throat> I'll sign for you. Hey, that's not legal. Pink cup is yours. Have a nice day. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Flood control dam three. Ow! Good hoy. Ah, I'm remembering why I've always preferred teleporting. This is the stop for the famed flood control dam number three. I, I believe know. it was quite the tourist attraction in times far distant. Far distant? Well, we have some sort of press thing here. Souvenir Zorkmid, press one into... Press one Zorkmid into Souvenir Flood Control Dam 3 letter opener. Apparently that's a letter opener. Hey, look! There it is. One of the crowning achievements on Lord Dimwit's platform. Yay. No idea what I'm doing. Either way, let's see what this book says. Hey, it's 
spell. Create a bridge over a body of water. Ah. Flood control dam number three. Not re remotely boring tale. Flood control dam three was constru yeah, constructed in the year 783 in the great underground empire to harness the great, the mighty frigid river. Hey, we know the mighty frigid river. That's where uh, Sophia Hamilton's academy was. This work was supposed to was supported by a grant of 37 million Zorkmids from your omnipotent local tyrant, Lord Dimwit Flathead the Excessive. This impressive structure is composed of 37,000 cubic feet of concrete, is 256 feet tall in the center and 193 feet wide at the top. The lake created behind the dam has a volume of 1.7 billion cubic feet a really annoying sound, an area of 12 million square feet, and a shoreline of 35,000 feet. Though only four of the 1400 shoeless doors repo repo <laughs> proposed by his lordy excessiveness were actually constructed, these four doors seem to adequately regulate water pressure in the dam, with the exception of one historical occasion where a lesser dam engineer having troubles at home fell asleep on the control panel and allowed all shoelaces to close at once. The dam burst, the frigid river flooded, and all power in the neighboring town of Fuzel was cut off for 11 weeks. Since the underground shares one predominantly irrigated system, students as far as the Eastland campus of GUE Tech were flooded at it for an entire semester, causing the course of Magic Potions 101 to become Magic Kayaking 101, and subsequently rendered a term's worth of cheat notes utterly useless. Yay! A little bit of history for you. Yeah, game history anyway. Hey, okay, let's go to the monastery. No reason. We can get away from this annoying sound. Yay, yay. Whee! And find another annoying sound. Here we are at the monastery. This place doesn't look safe. Nothing does to you. There is a puddle of water. Well, that's just great. How are huh. we going to get up there? Ha! Huh. Great. I get it. I get it. Okay, well that's broken. That's a teleporter. Hades. Let's go there. On time, apparently. Yay! What Hades is. That really clears the sinuses. Does it? Oh, sorry. What you got over here? Hey, Slim. What you reading? How to hypnotize yourself. Guess it worked. Yeah. What's the other book? Voyage of Captain Zahab. Drop of water, not a bit of food in the hold. A foot night longer and my mind grew infirm. Like a mirage in the desert I began to see islands where there were none and I swore I only saw a horizon not a moment before. Hills grew up out of the water right before my eyes. At first I thought I must have been all the rye I drank. Want some rye? Of course you do. I sent out a dinghy not an hour later a raw rocked our craft followed by a terrific crashing noise like a great granola mine had just collapsed. What vile menace inhabits this Isle of the Damned? Dismember 12. We found the remains of the diggy on the floating isle along with one survivor. He had gone mad, raving incoherently about plugging the nostrils of some serpent beast. His last tearful words I recorded here so that I might share them with his loved ones. We tried to pull the coconut from his mouth, but he knew and woe, 
for his wrath was mighty! <laughs> but uh, we're actually out of time, so we'll be back in the next video. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.